Hi, and welcome to Integrity Hi. Sales and Services. This afternoon, it's a bright, snowy afternoon. Dave and I are going to do a nice video for you of our 99 Freightliner FL80 tandem axle grain truck. Dave is going to fire it up. As you can hear, she comes to life and purrs just like a kitten. He's going to go ahead and engage the PTO and run the body up and down on it for you. First, he's going to let you see how nice and slow first gear is. Look how slow that girl calls in first. Now he's going to demonstrate the reverse as well. Nice backup alarm and look how nice and slow she moves in reverse at an idle at a very, very slow man's walk. I'm telling you folks, this is what you need on the farm. Okay, with that he's going to park the truck and proceed putting the PTO in gear and raise up the bed for us so you can see again, look at a slow idle. You can see he can rev it up and make her go fast or at a nice slow idle she'll go right up, no problem. Folks, look at these heavy duty twin cylinder hoist arms on this sucker. I'm telling you they're rated for 60,000 pounds. You will never have a problem raising up your 700 bushels with this truck here. Just take a look at her go up. She'll walk right up, straight up and down. It goes up to about a 50 degree dump angle, which is way more than adequate to ever dump your grain out. Okay, with that, I'm going to walk up close and let you have a nice underview of the hoist and the body while we have it up in the air for you. Okay, take a look. We have these two big heavy cylinders that raise this body. What you're looking at is the bottom side of a 22-foot stainless steel grain body. We have the I-beam long seals. We have the C-channel cross members that do not have a lip on them to sit full of rust and water. They are an actual structural C-channel. If you take a look, you can see all the dirt and everything must fall off when you raise this sucker up because there's no U-lip to catch it and sit full of water. Take a look at the nice clean frame rails, full double factory frame, really nice heavy duty Hendrickson suspension. Take a look at the hoist looking from backward to forward. You can see the cylinders are nice and dry, no sign of any oil leak around the wiper seals whatsoever. Take a look as we come up the frame, you can see it is very, very nice and clean. Nice new muffler system. You can see we have the outside control option on this truck as well. With that, I'm going to have Dave lower the body back down, and then we're going to proceed with an under the hood view of the engine. We'll do a blow-by check and all for you. Okay, we'll let Dave get in and lower the body down. I'm going to step back so again that you can see the hydraulics. It's pressure up, pressure down. So if you're halfway unloaded, folks, and you want to pull the body down, you can flip this PTO in and you can power it down just like you power it up. So you don't have to worry about cold, stiff oil in the winter time. I'm telling you, you can make this bed come down as fast as you see it, whether it's zero or whether it's 90 out. Okay, with that, let's walk up close to the engine compartment. Dave's going to pull the dipstick for us. We're going to let you have a nice look at the blow-by on this engine. As you can see, looking at the oil, folks, you can see it's very nice and clean. You can see right through on the dipstick. Let's get up close to the filler tube. As you can see, there's absolutely no blow-by whatsoever. Okay, now that the engine's off and we can hear better in the video, Dave's going to return the dipstick for us, and then I'm going to walk up close, let you have a nice look at the engine compartment, front tires, front brakes, and the whole shooting match. I'm going to do my best to give you a very descriptive video of this truck. Okay, let's start right here. You can see we have freshly sandblasted, primed, and painted front rims with chrome package. We have the heavy 315 steer tires with about 90% tread remaining. Take a look down here. You can see in the brake pads in here, you got somewhere between 75 and 80% front brake pads remaining. Take a look at the nice heavy front spring shackles, evidence of new fill filters, top and bottom. Take a look at the radiator, folks. Looks just like brand new. Take a look across the top of the engine. You can see it's not been freshly painted. We're not hiding anything, but there's no sign of oil leaks or big leaks on this engine whatsoever. Nice clean front of the cowling on the cab. There's no sign of any rust under here. It looks really wonderful. Let's walk on around and we'll repeat this for you on the passenger side. Okay, again, take note, repeat the front rim procedure, repeat of the steer tire, they do match. 
very nice again on the front axles you can see how everything looks the same as the other side very nice clean oil pan no slobbering buildup of oil anywhere whatsoever take a note there's the new oil filter on this side and again if you look along the engine along the turbo and that you can see it looks very very nice and clean with that Dave's going to pop the hood down for us and we'll continue with the video <clears throat> okay, we'll start right here on the passenger front corner of the truck. We've got the hood latched down, and what I want to point out to you folks is you're looking at an extremely severe duty truck. It's full double frame, front to back. It is not light in any way, shape, or form. Take note, we have very, very nice paint on the cab, stainless heated mirrors on both sides, dual fuel tanks. Here's the hydraulic reservoir for the PTO system. You can see what the cylinder looks like when it's laying down along the frame rail. It all tucks in there very, very nice. Take a look how nice and clean the frame is all the way back. The rear rims have also been sandblasted and painted. And folks, this truck is sitting on super single four and a quarter drive tires. Take note how wide they are. They're called the super single drives. And I'm gonna pop underneath and let you see how nice and clean the differential and all that looks as well including looking forward toward the back of the engine and transmission, you can see this truck is very, very clean. Here you can see the evidence of brand new brake shoes on all four drive wheels. Take a note, you can look at the bottom of the bed here, you get a really nice view of the cross members, all solid welded construction. There is no place for this bed to rust out whatsoever. With that, let's start back at the front of the body and I want you to pay special attention to how this body is built. Folks, we've got stamped ribs in these 14 gauge stainless steel sidewalls and they are strong. You never have to worry about a sidewall failure. And the way they're all solid welded, it is a permanent body for you. Just take a look at how nice and straight it is. Nice red shiny paint. You can see we have the Sherlock Row tarp in a locked open position on the passenger side of the truck in the video at this time. Okay, with that, let's come around to the back of the truck. Dave is going to open the center door for us, and we'll get you a nice look inside the body. As you can see, walking up, we have the trifold door system with a grain chute in all three doors. Now take note, we have a nice smooth steel floor. You can see our tarp bows are built like a truss. They play a major fact in the strength of the body. They hold the sides parallel and they are removable. If you take note you can see the removable bows and if you look at the back up here under the tarp cap you can see the tarp cap is also removable. Take note we have steps coming down the inside front corner of the body and there's steps going up the outside so you can come out of the driver's door and access the inside of the body. Okay with that Dave is going to close the door for us and roll the tarp over and give you a demonstration of the tarp locking down. Okay, here we go. Tarp rolls over very nice and easy. It's ground operated. You're looking at a stainless steel crank and a stainless steel roller tube in the tarp. You just come down, continue up the side, come over, grab your latch, and come down and hook it in. It's that simple, and you can run it locked open or locked closed. It is entirely your choice. Okay, with that I'm going to come into the back of the truck and let you take a look at our heavy duty rear bumper light mud flap area so that you can see everything lines up nice and square and looks absolutely awesome. Take a look at the nice clean differential. You can see it's not all rust splattered. It's very nice and clean and folks I know we've cleaned it up and painted the truck but there's no evidence of previous cancer whatsoever. Okay, let's continue up the side of the grain body on the driver's side. You can see what it looks like with the tarp rolled over. And as we come up to the front, take note, you can see the ladder, the steps we referred to earlier in the video. Also, take note, we have the aluminum paint guards so that when the tarp does come over, it does not hit the ribs and take the paint off. There's one at the front and the back. Nice aluminum battery box cover, again, nice clean fuel tank and let's give you a nice look at the side of the cab from this perspective. Again, you can see all the body lines match well, repeat of the mirrors, the glass is in perfect condition, and with that I'm going to have Dave open the door and we're going to get you a nice video of the interior. Okay folks, walking up to the cab, 
take a moment and focus here. Now what you'd expect for a 99 compared to what you're going to see is a very pleasant surprise. Very, very nice clean door panel. No knobs broke or missing. It all looks great. You have a nice deluxe air ride driver's seat. Very nice clean floor mat. I'll remove our foot soil protector. You can see there are no holes in the floor mat. There's not even any hole rubbed where the driver's foot area was resting. Take a look at the pedal covers. Folks, I'm telling you, they're not even rounded off whatsoever. Okay, with that, let's climb up in the cab. You can take a look at the nice seat cover that's on the driver's seat. Very nice seat on the passenger side. Right here in the center is your hoist control, raising and lowering, and right here by the driver's knee is your Chelsea Air PTO to engage the PTO. Take a look, very nice door panel on the passenger side as well, and we have an absolute flawless headliner in this truck. I'm telling you folks, it looks just like new. In the console overhead, you can see we have an AM FM tape player. Take a look at how nice and clean the dash is in this truck. No peeling of the normal paint problem with the freight liners. It's in very, very nice condition. As you can see coming into the center, we have the heat and AC controls, we have the parking brake, and then we have the dual locking differentials, full locking diff, which is right here on the right side of the dash. Coming over onto the left side, you can see we have the heated mirrors and we have the cruise control. And with that, folks, I want to go ahead and fire up this truck and I'm going to let you check out the oil pressure. Here we go. As you can see, sitting here cold at an idle, she's coming right up to about 60 pounds sitting here at an idle. Let's bring a little bit of throttle into it and you'll see her bounce right up. At about 1500, she's going to settle in just shy of 75 pounds of pressure. You can see our charge voltmeter is working fine. Our engine oil temp or engine water temperature is just shadily over 100. You can see our air pressure gauges are both working, and so is the fuel. Okay, folks, with that, I'm going to shut the truck off and hop back outside and close the door, and we'll continue with the video by coming on around to the front of the truck and letting you have a very nice look at it straight forward. You can see how nice the hood lines up with the bumper. We actually have the engine block heater cord is hanging down right here out of the front of the truck. It is intact and does work. Take a look at how nice the bed matches up with the top of the cab. The mirrors and everything fit perfectly. We have no loose, rattled, broken items on this cab whatsoever. Um, it's really appalling at how nice this truck is. Just take a look at her sitting here in the snow on this medium sunny afternoon. It is a head turning piece and it will do the job for you. It's built by farmers for farmers to get the job done. With that, I'm going to wrap up the video by telling you we greatly appreciate you taking the time to view it. Give us a call with any questions or comments and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for shopping Integrity Sales and Services.